Okay, part two, turning all the images that you exported from Photoshop into an animation that'll play on the OLED screen. Um, so I suggest make a working folder named something you can easily get to. BMPs is good, because uh, that's where I'm gonna make my BMPs and PBMs. And all my images are in here. And notice they say they are .jpeg. You want to come to the here. And make sure that hide extensions for known file types is not on. Because then it'll actually say JPEG. So what do we need to do? Well, you need to download a command line image editing tool thing. So you type download image magic which has got a CK for the spelling uh, for Windows and you go to the download page and here it is. You click grab the Windows executable, it's already compiled and you download that. All right, we're done. You're going to uh, open this installer and run it. And wait forever because Windows is gonna say, are you sure you meant to do that? Yep. Yes, I am. You accept this agreement. Next, 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 next. This is important. Pay attention. Pay attention. This is what you need to turn on because this is actually the command we need. So it's nice that it tells you that. That's it. Next, install. And it installs. And there you go. Next. Don't need to view that. Finish. Done. So let's go back to our uh, BMPs folder. So what you do now is you come down here and you type CMD and you're going to launch command prompt. And we are currently, the path here is users B. So that's just my user. Where we want to be is on the desktop. So what you do is you type CD for change directory desktop. And how do I know that I can go there? Okay, let's do this first. Watch, if you take a directory, DIR, shows you from where you are, what is ahead of you in the path. These are all the paths you can take from where you are. Okay, so I wanna go to desktop. So we're gonna do change directory to, with capital D, desktop. Now if I take a directory, I'll see what's in the desktop directory, which is the stuff over here on my desktop, right? Including this BMPs folder. So I'm gonna then change directory into BMPs. This would be whatever you named your folder. And then if I take a directory of what's in there, I have all my images. So I'm in the right folder now. That's what you wanna do. You wanna be in the correct folder. Now the magic begins and it's really simple. The first thing I like to do is get a preview of what my file is going to look like. Because I really can't see what it looks like um, without doing this. Unless you upload it and take a look at it on your actual OLED. But just to see a quick preview, here's what we're going to type. Boom. So we're using convert. That's the thing that we install with the legacy. That's a command that'll invoke image magic. We're going to set a frame delay of like three. I don't know if it's frames or what it is. Just for the preview, this is a good speed I have found. It kind of simulates basically what it's going to look like on the OLED in the end. And we're going to take all, that's a wild card, all files that are named something.jpg. And we're going to make a file. We're going to make a GIF file. We're going to call it... Uh, whatever, preview, right, dot GIF. And I'm gonna hit return. And it thinks about it. And when it's done, you get your prompt back, see? And then you go to your folder, and somewhere in this folder, look, now we have a preview GIF. I don't think Windows Photos or whatever app works. I know Chrome works, so I'm just gonna drop it onto Chrome and there it is. 
so I can see the animation. So there it is, that's what I wanted. Hey, it came out great, I love it. Okay, let's go forward. So now I'm gonna make it into a looping BMP file. So you just come back to your command prompt and now we're gonna do convert, what is it, monochrome. Also adding this magic, append is what's gonna make um, all the files stack up on top of each other. Uh, that's the format that it likes to be a looping BMP. So you just do it. We're gonna take all the files in here that are named JPEG, and we're gonna spit them out into a boot.bmp. Actually, this is gonna be font, so I'm just gonna make a file named font, BMP. And that's it, you hit go. And this will make a looping BMP that you can put on your OLED. And here it is. Now I'm not sure. Sometimes, yeah, and you can see here it's stacked frames, right? And it's staticky and here's my liquid dropping in. So that's what you should get, all of this stuff out of Photoshop in one file that's a bunch of stacked frames. Uh, the colors look right here. They might be inverse on the OLED. I have not wrapped my head around why sometimes it's not the same as what you see. Sometimes it's inverted. Uh, but that's okay because if it is, you can go to good old MS Paint. And if you don't have MS Paint, that's fine because you can just go to JS. I think paint dot app and look it's an online JavaScript MS paint yay so let's say this file was not the right colors on your OLED right that it was inverted oh well, you just come in here and we're gonna open that file do, 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 do not show it to me like this my lord font open right and you go image invert colors and that's it save as this is important monochrome bitmap because that's what we want it as um and where am i going to save it doesn't say let's just call it font one in case it wants to overwrite it oh it downloads it that makes sense went into my downloads folder great so you would then delete this one and replace it with this one. This music is crazy. And then I'm gonna get rid of the one, and there you go, is your font BMP. If you want a non-looping, I'm just gonna hit up. That goes through your history of what you've typed before. Um, so I'm gonna go to this one. I'm gonna make it, oh, let's start from the beginning. You don't do append, okay? We're still processing those JPEGs. I'm still gonna call it font, but this time I want it to be PBM. It's a little easy to confuse with BMP, but a PBM file will not stack the frames. Instead of them uh, vertically stacked, technically it's concatenating all the images into one long left to right, just like your read stuff uh, file, which Profi OS will play uh, once through and not loop. Uh, so that's it. And that usually, in my experience, has always shown up uh, as the right colors. I have i don't think I've ever seen um, a PBM file show up. <laughs> yeah, you can't view that in Chrome. Cool. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, you put on the OLED and you just see. If for whatever reason... That's inverted. Mm, mm, we'll have to cross that bridge later. You could do it in Image Magic, I'm sure. You could just, there's probably like a convert slash, uh, you know. I would Google it. It's probably something like invert, you know, pick the bits per pixel or something like that. Uh, but that is it. There you have it. Enjoy.